Hello everyone and welcome back to more RimWorld Beta 18 and we are on the siege. We've got another raid coming in. Looks like a pretty pretty tough group actually. They've got personal shields and everything, but we have a bunch of allies in the city. So we might be saved. Or not, you know, that's how it goes. What we're gonna quickly do is we're gonna wait for you to tick over. There we go. I'm gonna reinstall you inside that unknown bedroom. You might ask why. It's mostly so they stop damaging it. Kind of makes sense. Now you're gonna get that done for me immediately. We are going to gather our defenders. It's not too many of them. Still. But oh well. And we're gonna try to hold them off. As best we can. I think we'll set up over here and then use that choke point. They are also going for the north a little bit. How many are there? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14 people. My god. We only have a couple. You know, I don't think we're really evenly matched here. I did tell the animals that they should all go inside to avoid friendly fire probably gonna restrict the people now too just to be on the safe side and hopefully our traps will catch the people as they always do well, let's get some shooting done nice Blew his leg clean off, I like it. Right, we've now got the caravan helping us as well. Which is good, we need that. I don't think they're due for a happy ending, I'm afraid. But we've got our corner here locked down now. So we're no longer being flanked. Our food's on fire, which is, you know, kind of a problem. There we go, we've got this. Brian and Super Sarge have taken some shots, but they're really fine. Both groups of people are fleeing. Which is uh, not great, but we're alive at least. Unrestricted people, we need help. This is bad, we've got a lot of weapons now. Like a lot. Uh, our faction reputation did not actually go down. Which is nice. I'm not sure how we managed that, but hey, there you go. Uh, some of our traps are destroyed, actually. Wow. Weird. Jake! Neurotic Prostophile. You are going to be stripped down. I am not interested. Oh, yeah. And forbid everything. Strip apparel from the dead and wounded. Uh, we're gonna rescue Samantha over here. She's fine. She's just, you know, not in a good state right now. Unfortunately, none of the pack animals died, which would have dropped a bunch of stuff. Lucy, very neurotic and slowly dying. You're, you're half decent growing animal now. Sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm really not. There we go, we're putting out the fires. That is a bit, that is a big fire, admittedly. They're probably gonna report on the existence of these traps now, which is going to be a little bit annoying, but eh, we live. You know, that's good. I'll settle for just surviving. That's totally fine. Um, Nanon's gonna take care of Samantha, despite the uh, one-armed bandit problem that we have. We are indeed not using any medicine. So, pharmacist is working as intended, which is nice, you know, minor wounds. That's going to get Nan on some more medicine experience, which is, you know, helpful. 
I do like practicing on uh, random people. We're gonna strip you so that your clothing can be used for the good of the colony. You know, our colony needs it. Now we're gonna load up a UKC James. Actually, was it UKC James or was it Super Sarge? I think it might have been Super Sarge. Yeah, because you've got the growing. But then you also have the growing. And construction. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to send over James instead of... Uh... Yeah, that works. Then we're going to carry the dead out of here. That's all fine. We're just going to make sure that, you know... Oh no, you're not injured. That solves that problem. James, let's go. We're going to bring Bogeyman. Because he is a... I'm pretty sure he can only eat actual meat. So, you know, that's going to be a problem at some point. Um, Probably fling over more meals. 2.9 days of food. Yeah, that's not going to last James, but, you know. Once we send over an actual grower, not like BVS, who doesn't want to put in any of the work, but still expects to reap all of the rewards, and that's not how it works, BVS. But, you know. Uh... Oh, kidney's a bit damaged. Yeah. yeah, I think we're just going to fling over a bit more steel so that we can get all the refineries and stuff set up. I think that'll be fine. Also, one herbal medicine. Because we don't have any medicine there, as people have pointed out in the past. But we should be able to harvest some from the wild-growing heel roots. So it should be fine. Oh yeah, we're going to unrestrict all our animals again so that they can help with the hauling here. There's a lot of it. Like a lot. But they're all sleeping now. Eh, we'll get on it eventually. It's fine. Right, James. Lovely. I'm gonna drop you over here for the risk of random trans... Um, yeah, random transport pod landing explosions. It's not to say that it won't go, you know, he will still arrive safely. But with a bit of a bang, and you don't want that inside your buildings. Oh, never mind. Everything's fine. Hey, Bogeyman. How are you? I'm gonna set up a new animal area. Where did I name it? Pets. Boosh. Expand the loud area for pets. Probably like somewhere over here so you're not near the active defenses. And then just go crazy like... We're gonna build a base over here at some point, you're all allowed in there. Like that's fine, maybe a bit over here as well. Over there too, if need be. And that way, Bogeyman won't wander off into death. Which is a very good thing, as I'm sure you're all aware. Uh, there's more heal root. We can probably go and harvest that. That's a dead squirrel. That's useful. Yeah, we need some more dead squirrels in our uh, colony. Ryan's wandering around in a psychotic state. He's dazed. Could have been worse. We also have a hunter in James now, even though he's not the greatest. By far. We can probably mold him into a half-decent warrior at some point. But it's gonna take a while. We're gonna harvest some of these bushes. To just get a little bit more food. That's a dead buck. Or whatever's left of it by now. So yeah, kind of sort of surviving at times. It's good. James here will be able to make sure that we get some rice at some point and, you know, this colony might get off its feet now. Oh, severe illness. Oh dear. Yeah, that's not good. Rescue Brian, haul urgently. We need that assault rifle. Because we don't 
I have enough guns that is his. It's a bit illness. Nanon, could you There we go. Tend to buy. He's got life saving wounds now, or at least big wounds. It does solve the dazing issue at least. Super Sarge has an infection in his left arm. Oh dear, yeah. That's what happens when you only have one person to really do the medicaling. I'm really sorry to ask you to do so many things, Nanon, but... People are gonna die. You don't think it's life-threatening enough? For... okay, that's fine. Totally fine. There we go, we got a half decent treatment there. And now make sure he eats as well. There's a lot of things that factor into um, immunity buildup, like being in a bed, being well fed. If you're hungry, you're not gonna build up immunity very fast. Because your body doesn't have the energy. It's also things like blood pumping and blood filtration. I think it's only blood filtration, actually. So places like your liver, your kidneys... That's a danger area. Those are some... Fun illnesses to have. So yeah, get a good bed. Get food, that sort of thing, and your people will have a higher chance of surviving. Should they get an infection? You can see James, meanwhile, decided that, hey! I brought some food. I'm gonna have a party for you. And because Samantha exited the map healthy, our, in our relations with Evado have actually gone up by 15. Weird how that works. Anyway, these people, with their major break risks... Actually, these people are quite okay. Huh. Not anymore! BVS has the plague! Oh dear! That's really bad. Like, really bad. Good, yeah, make a wooden bed now. James decided, hey, I'm gonna throw a party and then sleep. Combat supplier from Avedo has just arrived. They might have some medicine, although we don't have any money here. That's interesting, because we're still owed a exotic goods trader in our other colony. Plague is a killer, though. That's really bad. It's already at 42%, and we are behind 12% in immunity. Our only doctor is Trosma, who is admittedly half decent, but... No, you need, you need bed rest. Like actual bloody bed rest. I need you to build beds now. Because if we get a really high quality bed, that's going to be a good medical bed. But yeah, this isn't good. Not at all. James, why did you just... I told you I really need to... Oh my god. These colonists at times are like, yeah, I'm gonna do the thing. That you priority told me to do. And then build you a poor bed, because... 12 construction, and we get a poor bed. Seriously, why are you not doing the thing I specifically tell you to do? That'll have to do. Medical bed, rest until healed. Go. There we go, we finally have Blitz back in Tombstone. He's probably a bit peckish. Oh, he's fine. Totally fine. He probably still had some potatoes. Or not. Oh, yep, there he is. He is carrying 18 potatoes. See, we're fine. And now we have a second chem fuel reactor that we can use to make fuel literally appear out of the air. It's nice. Uh, who is our highest social over here? 
Joke's on you, nobody is. It's literally BVS. Hi, let's have the plague victim talk to you. You do have medicine, I need that. In return, I offer you crappy weapons. We can get three medicine. That is okay, yeah. Now you're gonna eat, and you're gonna rest immediately. So that's like your doctoring priority is gonna be one. Now that we've got good medicine here, I think we'll be fine. 48 to 38, yeah, we're, we're catching up on immunity. Storage, clear all. Manufactured, medicine. Actual medicine, critical. If they didn't get the hint that it was important, they will now. There we go. We'll have it close to hand. That'll be good. We'll remove that bed so that someone else can use it. There we go. You'll be fine, BVS. We'll need tending in five hours. Once that tending tick has passed, immunity is going to skyrocket. Or rather, the illness. Oh, good God. I don't have anything to trade here, guys. Come on. What are you doing? Like, we have a bajillion guns over here, and they like, go, Hey, yeah, this place just got done setting up. What a great place to sell our wares, right? Oh, Rimworld. You are silly. Yeah, we're still catching up on the immunity. Can you stop being stoned all the time? I'm gonna set up a regime here. You guys are too annoying. We have an aurora in Tombstone. No, we have it over here. Lights up the night sky. We'll make the night brighter. Neat. No. I don't want it anymore. You're ruining everything. Every time I need you to do something, you're stoned. I don't like it anymore. Yeah, there we go. We need tending now. You know, I'd rather see the... I... Don't... Ag I really don't agree with you! Oh my god, you know what, fine. Pharmacist... I... I don't know if this is pharmacist, or what. Yeah, I think it's just... Oh well. There you go, buddy. That's going to prevent the severeness from going up fast enough that we should get a decent amount of immunity. Plague's fun. We had a herd of thrombos migrating on... Oh, wow! That's 43 thrombos. We can barely deal with one. How much fire we're receiving? We can't really do anything with that. They will only attack when provoked, and when they are provoked... 43 Drumbos will jump on us. I think we let them go. I would be willing to shoot one, maybe two, but not 43. That is a colony ending event right there. Trivial malnutrition, oh, it's because I ate the food, oh, food again, didn't I? Yep. Anything that we really need here except for more food. Uh, we could do some hunting at some points, but we're gonna have to start digging out places here. Or just put tables down here. You know what? I'm gonna start planning some base stuff here. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. It really does help the channel a lot and I do appreciate it a ton. 
You might also want to subscribe and make sure to hit that bell icon because YouTube is being weird, like seriously. Anyway, until next time, have a good one, folks.